Welcome to the uh, special Cable 14 interview to learn about Girl Guiding. I'm your host, Kate, and today I will be speaking with a special guest from the 14th Girl Guides, Catherine. She is here today to tell us a little about the history of Girl Guides and to tell us about what kinds of activities Girl Guides are doing today. Welcome, Catherine. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy to be here. So maybe you can start by telling us a little about girl guiding history. When did it all start? Well, guiding is over 100 years old. It all began in 1909 when the girls of England wanted to be allowed wanted to be allowed to be part of a Boy Scouts rally in London. The Boy Scouts organizer, Lord Brad Powell, decided to start a program four girls and got his sister Agnes to help him. A unit opened in Canada only a year after that. So guiding has been in Canada for a really long time. Wow, that's a long time. That means girl, guides, girl guiding is older than most of our grandparents. It's neat that it's an organization that generations of women have belonged to. Did you have any family members who were in Girl Guides? My mother belonged to a unit she, when she was a girl. And there are many grandmothers today who were, who were part of Girl Guides when they were young. And did you know that during the wars, Girl Guides were involved in all sorts of duties in helping the war effort? Well, that's interesting, so tell me, can boys be involved too? I, it's really just for girls. Scouts, scouts in Canada now allow girls to be members, so it's, possi it's possible that girls, guys, girl guides might change their rules sometime, but right now it's a group for girls only. Well, that's so interesting. What, do you think it's neat to... to do you think it's best to have a group just for girls? What do you think, Catherine? Yes, I think since boys have their own groups, girls should really have a group just for them too. Yeah, wait, interesting. And I have noticed that you're wearing a uniform. Is this the Girl Guides uniform? Yes, it has changed a lot over the years. Uniforms have been updated many times. Interesting, and I, wait. <laughs> Interesting, and I can, and can you tell me about the badges I see you wear? Sure, badges get earned when the guiding, when the guides complete something. This is a badge for outdoor activities. Okay. Okay, so tell me about some of the activities that you do at your meetings. Well, we do cooking projects, crafts, nature activities like hikes. We sometimes have guests to help with first aid lessons. Oh yes, I have noticed. I have noticed you brought. You have a box of cookies. Are you selling cookies right now? Yes, girl guides will be knocking on doors. These are our classic, classic chocolate and vanilla cookies. In the fall, we sell mint chocolate. Those, are, those sound delicious. We'll be hoping for a knock on our door. Thank you so much for coming by telling us about, a little about the Girl Guides and Immunization. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure to speak with you. Well, that, well this has been a Cable 14 special on interview on Girl Guides with, with our guest Catherine of the 14th Hamilton Girl Guide Unit. I'm your host Kate. Thank you for watching. Mike. <laughs> did you get, did they Now can get, I eat these? No!